Hi, I'm Mark Gaylor, Sony Alpha Ambassador, and in this series of short video tutorials, we're going to deep dive into Sony's new menus that we see on cameras such as the A7 IV and the Alpha One. So without much further ado, let's get started. Still in the A's of the menus, let's take a look at Anti-Flicker. You're going to find this in the red shooting menu on page 7 where it says shutter forward slash silent. We're going to go then over to the Anti-Flicker settings option there. Now Anti-Flicker shoot settings should be off by default and when you don't need Anti-Flicker shoot settings I do recommend you switch it off again. Now Anti-Flicker is for when you're going to get banding in um, low frequency strobing lights such as fluorescent lights. If you do experience those uh, bands of uh, different exposures then consider putting the anti-flicker shooting to on. Now you're going to press the center button to do that and then just uh, there's only two options here just choose on from that menu. Okay as we move forward you can see also see that there's a variable shutter option. Now this may be grayed out when you scroll down to this and one of the reasons it's grayed out is you're not in the shutter priority or manual shooting mode. So if you're wanting to use the variable shutter uh, anti-flicker you do need to switch to S or M on the shoot mode dial. Okay so once you've done that you'll be able to come back into the menus and switch the variable shutter on. Now in, a, in opposed to the anti-flicker that we just looked at this variable shutter is able to remove strobing effects from high frequency lights such as LED light sources. So once you've switched that to on you'll then go down to the variable shutter settings now you don't need to come into this menu each time you want to adjust your time value. Basically you can do this using the front and rear dials but it's worth just reminding yourself that uh, when we're using the uh, front dial we are going to be able to move up in small incremental st um, steps until we actually see the flickering on the monitor or inside the viewfinder disappear and then a variable shutter has done its job. Because it, we're moving up in very small incremental steps we do have the ability to use the rear dial which allows us to move in much um, greater uh, um, steps as you'll see here as I use the rear dial we move from uh, 1 512th of a second to 1 1024.6 of a second so we're going up in much greater increments when doing that okay so just remember both of those uh, front and rear dials doing different time value increments if you found this information useful, head over to patreon.com forward slash Mark Gaylor. I'm offering an Alpha Creative Skills support channel where you can download a 500 page camera specific ebook and I've covered most of the late model Alpha cameras. You'll also be able to download a cam set file if you own one of the later model Alphas. You'll be able to set up your entire camera with just a single file copied to a memory card. I also offer additional uh, ebooks for people to download to help them master the uh, skills of creative photography and also a range of uh, one hour seminars that look at the uh, using the, uh, the camera gear to the best effect and also to build up your skills of photography in general. So head over to patreon.com forward slash Mark Gaylor.